Hello friends, today we are going to be talking Easter baskets. Now we love to teach our children about the true meaning of Easter, reflecting on and celebrating the atonement, the death, and the beautiful resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we do focus on that a lot especially the weeks leading up to Easter. We love to talk to our kids about that. We really try and focus on that and talk to our kids about the importance of those beautiful, amazing, miraculous things that happened. That being said, we do do Easter baskets. We do an Easter egg hunt. We celebrate with family. I wanted to take you along. I'm gonna take you back in time about a week ago when I went to Walmart and you can shop with me a little bit for the Easter baskets. I went in there with a few ideas and did a lot of wandering around, but I ended up getting some good stuff and then I'll bring you back to present day and I'll show you what's going in their baskets. I actually didn't buy it at all at Walmart. I had kind of been collecting things over time, so I will show you what each boy is getting in their Easter basket. Hello friends, I am at Walmart and we are gonna go do some Easter basket shopping. Um, it's April 5th and it's snowing. After several weeks of really nice weather, we have snow. It's supposed to get over two inches. Hopefully it'll melt quickly. I have an hour until Everett gets dropped off with me here at Walmart and I'd like him not to see what's in his Easter basket. So make sure you stick around to the end to see what I actually ended up with and some other things that I bought on a previous trip and we'll put the boys Easter baskets together. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I have refused to wear a jacket. I refused to wear a jacket for weeks, but today it just felt necessary. Ooh, it's windy and blowing. The front of the store was Easter candy and treats right from the beginning. I wasn't quite ready to commit to any of the Easter candy and had some other ideas, so I decided to hit up the candy at the end and go check out some other things. My first idea was four different types of Oreos that the boys could split up. I grabbed a lemon Oreo, a regular flavor, and then I kind of just sat in awe of all the different flavors of Oreos and went with the golden Oreos. I wanted some mint ones and didn't find them there, so I decided I would find them somewhere else in the store. Next up, I grabbed some clear American drinks. If you're not familiar with these, these are flavored sodas that are zero calorie and only 83 cents and come in lots of different flavors, and my kids love them. When it comes to Easter baskets and Christmas stockings, I like to buy my kids things that we don't typically buy, so Pop-Tarts it is. Then I found some mint Oreos in another location, just like I thought I would. Next, I wandered over to the shoe section and these fun, colorful sandals caught my eye for myself. I love that Walmart consistently carries lots of sizes, including my giant size 11, so I debated buying them for summer. They actually had a lot of cute dupe sandals for around $17 each. I didn't end up seeing any kids' shoes that I really wanted. And really, once I thought about it, I realized the kids didn't need any shoes. I also decided to put my sandals back. Next, I looked for a belt for Hunter. I bought him one at Christmas, and it was way too big. Then I bought one in the kids' section, and it was way too small. I'm hoping that I'm finally going to find the right size for him. Next up, I went to the book section. I was excited to find the illustrated version of Harry Potter. Oops, dropped that one. I grabbed one, not sure who I'm gonna give this to, but I'm excited that I finally found it. Next, I moved to the toy aisle to wander around and look at games and other toys that I could add to their Easter baskets. I wasn't too inspired by most of the things there, but we do love playing games together, so I grabbed this game Cribbage. Have you ever played? Do you like it? I've heard it is really fun for two people to play, and I knew that one of my kids would love it. Then I grabbed some Kinetic Sand, a treasure box that I know Everett will love. Next, 
Next up, I went to the sporting goods section and grabbed a few bike helmets for summertime. Then I headed back over to the snack section and decided to grab some poppables because we've never tried them before and this would be a good chance to give them a try. I then decided to put the Oreos back and try these Kit Kat duos instead. Lastly, I grabbed a few more Easter candies and I was ready to check out. All right, I'm done shopping. I need one more thing for Hunter's Easter basket and then I'm good. I think I probably went overboard, but let's go put them together. All right, I got my two Costco bags here, kind of full of goodies. I've got some Easter baskets here. Let's fill them up. So in the past, I have used just big baskets that I had, but I realized we had a little bit of water coming off of our water pressure tank down in the basement. Got on the baskets, they got moldy. So I did have to run and go pick up these baskets. I'm hoping they last past a year, but they were $3. So I'm not sure how much they're actually gonna hold. This is not what I really wanted, um, but I didn't have time to run all the way into Anchorage and go to the thrift store and find bigger baskets. So we're gonna make these work. Let's start with Hunter. I decided to take a few seconds and sort everything into piles so we can move through the baskets more smoothly. All right, let's start with Hunter. The first thing in his basket I am so excited about. It is called 52 Manners for Today's Teens. This gives them one thing um, a week to talk about like at the table, about introducing yourself. And it has stuff on both sides. I got this on Amazon, pitch in when you're at somebody else's house. If food is being prepared or an area is being cleaned, ask what you can do to help. Even better, just pitch in and fill a need. Find new friends. If your friends are often excluding you or making you feel bad, they are the wrong friends. Find new friends. And it goes into more depth. Be the friend that you want to have. And then it has more things on the back. So each week we can discuss these at the table. Be a good passenger. Talking about knowing how to ride in cars. Keep your phone silent in public places. Restaurant manners. Treat friends with younger siblings with kindness. That's a huge one. Don't share hurtful things. The way you smell matters. Don't leave just one person out. Make and manage your own appointments. Nothing online is private. You get the, you get it. Got it off of Amazon. Highly recommend it. I had seen what's in it before I ordered it. I knew that it was gonna be great. So that is going in Hunter's book. And it actually, the fun thing is, it um, stands, you can open it so it stands. And it's cute, it's just black and white. We're gonna put it on the shelf. We're gonna go through these again and again and again and again because I wanna raise good, kind kids that know how to leave mom and dad's house and still be good kids. So each of the kids got some of these poppables. We've never tried them before, I figure, Holidays are a good time to try some like maybe junk food that we don't usually buy. So that is going into his basket as well. Each kid is getting a different type of peeps. Um, hot tamale peeps, never heard of it. I'm not a huge marshmallow fan, so I would never eat a peep, but the kids seem to love them. I feel like I need to get, let me get, this ottoman and we're gonna put it so that you guys can see it while I'm putting stuff in the basket. Seems silly to, is that better? There we go. Okay, it's already full. On to the next kid. <laughs> Just kidding, I've got a lot more to put in there. All right, each kid gets a bag of these gummy clusters because they are delicious. Um, they're kind of hard to find. And I hate regular nerds because they get spilled everywhere. At least these ones aren't as messy. Into the basket. I also got each kid one of these big giant Kit Kat duos. This one is mint and dark chocolate. He's gonna love that, Hunter loves mint. I also got 
one box of Pop-Tarts. It had four Pop-Tarts in it because when our renters leave our Airbnb, sometimes they leave food and one time they left Pop-Tarts and Hunter ate it and Bennett thought he was gonna eat it and they were all upset and it's not something that I ever buy. So I got one box of Pop-Tarts and they each get a Pop-Tart in their basket. And all growing up, my dad drank these clear American drinks. His favorite flavor was, his favorite flavor is peach. I couldn't find any peach, but the kids always call these grandpa drinks. So I got each of them a grandpa drink. Hunter's is mandarin orange. All right. That really fills up this basket, but, I, but there's more. Hunter is now at the age at church where he gets more responsibility. He gets to help pass the sacrament that we take each week. And so he likes to look nice when he's passing the sacrament. He wears a white shirt and a tie, but we haven't had, and he's always wanted to wear a nice jacket. So it's been on my list of things to find for him. So I went to Kohl's and found him a nice suit jacket. He already has pants, but I got him a suit jacket. So this is going to be draped over his Easter basket on Easter morning. But I also got him some of his own ties. He's old, He's been using Mark's ties, so I got him a nice blue one and a nice green one. This actually reminds me of the ties that the guys wore at my wedding. Is that kind of fun? And then a blue and a black one in case he wants to wear black instead of blue. So those are gonna go in his basket somewhere. And last but not least, he needed a nice belt. This is the fourth time I have tried to buy him a belt. Finding one in his size has been a real struggle. So hopefully fourth time is the charm. I'm gonna leave the tag on it because in case I need to take it back, but I really think this one's gonna be the one. It changes black or brown, so. All right, there's Hunter's Easter basket. It's gonna be awesome. I don't even know if I can lift it, but it's gonna be awesome. Let's move on to Bennett. So for Bennett, we have some sea salt and vinegar poppables. His drink flavor is strawberries and cream. We have a Pop-Tart. And his peeps are flavored, oh, his peeps are fruit punch flavored. Stick that in there. He also got nerd gummy clusters, Kit Kat Duo, and I got him the game of cribbage. I've never played this before, but I feel like this is something that we would all enjoy playing. They've gotten really into chess. Um, so grab that for him. Probably should have put that in first. There we go. And I also got Bennett this Harry Potter illustrated version of book number one. I have hesitated to buy these illustrated versions because I couldn't find book number one anywhere, not at Christmas. I happened to see this at Walmart. So this will start our collection of illustrated Harry Potter books. I think an illustrated version just makes it even more fun. So I think he'll really like this. I think Weston will like this as well. Are you guys Harry Potter fans? We like it. We're not like huge Potterheads, but we really like it. Oh my goodness, okay. Another really full basket, but these baskets are doing all right. Hey! My kids, I don't know when it started, but they like their Easter baskets to be hidden, so we will hide them around the house on Easter morning. All right, on to Weston's. Hmm. Some of this stuff might need to be unpackaged, but he has ranch flavored poppables. His drink is blackberry lemonade. 
cotton candy peeps. Kit Kat with strawberry, strawberry and dark chocolate. Sounds interesting. Nerd Gummy Clusters. Pop Dark. Okay, and now to his specific things. I'm just gonna put these down um, for a second. He has wanted a volleyball for a really long time. I found this really fun Oop. one. I'm gonna actually unwrap it. Then maybe it'll, well, I don't know, maybe not. I think I'll just stick it like this. Maybe it'll fit. Yeah, that fills it up nicely. Oh gosh, okay. I also got him a new helmet. Um, just like a plain black helmet. We have strict helmet rules around here for the kids when they're on bikes, scooters. Um, and the thing is, I feel like I'm always buying helmets, but their heads grow and we also like to have them around when cousins come over. If they don't bring their helmet, we still make them wear a helmet. So this will just be an extra helmet to have around and one that will hopefully fit his head for this summer. All right, last but not least, our Everett. Everett got some sour watermelon peeps. Pink marshmallow inside, a green outside, just like a watermelon. I got him a white grape drink. Nerds. Pop-Tart. White cheddar poppables. And a king size, just plain Kit Kat. He is a huge Kit Kat fan. If you have seen any videos where Everett gets money or a gift card, he always says, oh, I need a wallet. I found him a Minecraft wallet. He is going to love it. Very simple, but he's kind of obsessed with money and coins and things, so he will have his very own little wallet. Now I saw this book at Walmart and I met the author of this book last summer in Soldovia. She was visiting an artist there and she told us this book is actually based off of the cabin we were visiting at in Soldovia. It's a little cabin on stilts where this artist does her paper cutting. If you remember that video from last summer. This little cabin here is based on that cabin in Soldovia. And so I saw this and I thought, oh, we've got to have that book because we have a connection to that. I've met the author, super cute book anyways. Um, but I just thought, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. So it's called Grumpy Corn. Stick that here in the back. And I'm going to put this down for a second. Last but not least, I did get him some kinetic sand in this like uh, treasure box. Everett loves all things treasure. He loves all things shark. It has a shark on it. I think we saw an ad for this at some point and he was like super excited about it. It has nine hidden treasures in it. If you've never played with kinetic sand, it's like gets hard and then it like kind of melts so you can kind of cut through it and very, very interesting, cool texture. So grab that for him. You can find some jewels. I'll show you on the back. You get little jewels, little tools. I think I'm going to open this though, because it sure has a lot of packaging on it. And it's not going to fit in the, in the box very well. I mean, it's not going to fit in his basket very well. So... We had kinetic sand way back when Hunter was little and then something happened to it and we've kind of missed it. So this will be Everett's first experience with kinetic sand, at least in our house. I think he's played with it at other people's houses. So there we go. Oh, last but not least, I also found him a helmet. 
Uh, my goal is to teach Everett to ride a bike this summer. I usually get my boys riding bikes by four. He has been very resistant to it. I usually start them on a balance bike. Um, he shows very little interest, but I'm hoping that we can get him on it so that he can enjoy riding with our family. I thought this one looked a little bit like Minecraft. Honestly, he doesn't really, he's never played Minecraft. He's watched a few shows about it, but he, he thinks he likes Minecraft. So I thought he would like to have a helmet with Minecraft. So that will go with it too. I just got to get this stuff off of it so that it'll just kind of clip to the side of his basket. All right, those are the baskets. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what the boys are gonna get. Hopefully I'll catch some of our Easter morning and share it on our weekly vlog with you guys. Um, we'll do our best to bring you along for the festivities. Miss Luna has come to check out the Easter baskets. Luna. Yeah. She even found her Easter basket. Oh, are you so excited? You're gonna check out the Easter basket? All right, friends, I am so sorry that the focus was so bad when I was showing you guys the Easter baskets. I changed the camera to be able to show the baskets and my finger hit manual focus. Didn't realize it was manual focus, not autofocus the whole time that I was filming that. I feel so terrible. But at least that means that we get to come back and have Luna, the inspector here, she's poking over here, um, to check out all our stuff. I was editing the video and I'm like, we had to get something for Luna. Here, here you go, sweet girl. Right here. She's having a little treat down here. Luna loves snacks. Look at this bag. This got accidentally left out. One of you guys sent this to us. Look, at it. it's like torn to shreds. This one too. Look at the back of that bag. If these bags get left out, Luna goes crazy. The temptation is too much. She can't handle it. <laughs> Luna. Yeah, do you want an Easter basket? We got you your own Easter basket. <gasps> so, you can go. You can go. We got Luna the ginormous package of seafood medley. She seems to prefer things with fish in them, like a true Alaskan cat. So I, we got the big container because we thought maybe she won't be able to destroy this. She'll probably figure out a way to get into it. But whenever she even just hears the crinkling of one of these bags, she comes running. Oh, she's looking for more treats. Here you go. Here you go. I wish you guys could see her. Now I'm afraid to touch the camera. Oh, I'm gonna scare her away. I'm afraid to touch the camera because I'm gonna ruin it. <gasps> there she is. We also got her a toy that has a laser pointer in it and all these cool little things. It'll be fun to see how she likes it. We're not gonna open it till Easter. Kind of simple, but we figured Luna needed her own little Easter basket too. If you stuck around to this point, thank you so much. Luna and I are so grateful that you are here watching this video with us. We hope that you have a wonderful Easter. If you are in need of prayers, please let us know. You can either email us, contact us on Instagram, leave it down in the comments. We would love to pray for you. We will see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Oh, you want to say goodbye? Yeah. Bye. What do you think? Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye.